Hi, today I'll be giving you guys some instructions on the word labeling task. So after transcription, we need to label words that contain specific personal or task related information. And some key points to note is label on what's being communicated. So from the context, you'll understand the intent of the word and label it as such. And only label specific details. So some categories to label include personal name, phone number, email address, account sensitive info. Account sensitive info being account number, card number, PIN, password, and answers to security questions. More categories include street, city, state, and country addresses, as well as zip code. Make sure when you're labeling these to make sure it's being used as like a location or like the country or state. So for example, yes, that's in the US or that address is in France are used as locations, but Americans are the best is not being used as like a location or even referring to the country and neither is Canadian bacon. And also make sure to label currency and date times. So currencies can be like $12, British pounds, and date times can be either exact or relative, and they can be like durations or holidays as well. So May 3rd, 2024, that's exact date. There's next Wednesday or yesterday, these are relative dates. And then 8.15 a.m., that's a time. For an hour, that's a duration. And make sure when you're labeling don't label the preposition. So in, for, at. And the reason is because they're non-data words and don't contain information. So we can think of this labeling task as a redaction task. While labeling, only label words containing specific information or words containing data. And here are some examples. So label spelling. My name is Carl with a C for Charlie and A for Apple. Label C, Charlie, A, and Apple because it's either spelling or used to clarify the spelling. Looking at the third example, my password is fluffy. The U is uppercase. Even though uppercase, we label uppercase because uppercase is used to clarify the spelling and therefore the sensitive account info. So in general, we don't label non-data words. However, the exception is if it's part of the name or part of the label. So like King George D6, because C, is part of the name, you label it as part of the name. Label options and mistakes. So if it's like, is a street called Ames or Ames, you label both as street address. Or his name is Bart, oh wait, sorry, it's Barton. You label both Bart and Barton. However, you don't label the filler words. So wait, sorry, uh, um, are not labeled. So only label essential specific details. Sometimes in speech recognition, there will be unknown or noise, and you you won't be able to transcribe it. But if you're if you understand the label based on the context, you can still label it. So my name is noise because you know that it's going to be a name. You can label it as personal name. However, I live in unknown is not labeled because this unknown could be a state, a city, or a country address. So if ambiguous, don't label. So also label date times. So here are some examples for exact and relative dates. So tomorrow the 8th, right? You, we don't label the because it's a non-data word. I'll help you for multiple hours in a bit. Inna is not labeled because it's a non-data word. Okay, so here's an email example. All right, so it's Jean, and that's spelled J-E-N-N-E. Zero two P, as in Peter, and that's at hotmail.com. So we know that everything is labeled as email address because that's the intent of her response. P as in Peter, even though Peter is a name, should be labeled as an email address because we're using Peter to clarify the spelling of an email address. So here's some common mistakes. So pet, mascot, and mother's maiden names when used for password verification, should be labeled as sensitive account info, not personal name. Also, contextual meaning is super important to distinguish between ambiguities. So my company's name is Rhode Island, is not labeled because Rhode Island is not being used as a location. However, is your company in Rhode Island should be labeled as a state address.
Make sure to pay attention to context. So when you're labeling, please label on what's being communicated. The email is hort, h as in henry, o-r-t at gmail.com. We'll be labeling h and henry because h is used to spell the email and henry is used to clarify the spelling. And therefore, henry should be labeled as an email address and not as a name because it's being used to communicate an email. So in summary, please label all words containing personal information. Please only label containing words containing specific information. So don't label the filler words to non-data words, such as like is, the, or, for, and so on. Label based on context. So label based on what is being communicated and how the word is being used. And a list of categories and more detailed instructions for this task can be found in the link. So please review the slides and thank you so much for your time.